Hello guys, this is a blazing and you're here for the Flea 80 Mini Brushless FPV Frame and uh, this one supports the new, the most tiniest uh, motors that you can get right now is the 07 zero five I believe of um, the motors that I'm using <laughs> anyways uh, let's check this guy out I'm pretty excited I can uh, finally put some of this uh, electronics onto the uh, flea um, but I'll go I'll go through these afterwards, uh, after we check out the frame. Uh, now we have the, uh, the frame itself here. And um, I'll just... Uh, I will cut it open. For you. Here we are. Here's the piece. Let me get my um where's my um ruler? <laughs> Where do I put it? Oh yeah, there it is. <laughs> uh, one of these. Okay, let's reset it. Zero. Alright, let's see how thick this is. It's uh, 0 0.1. So that is not correct. That's inches. Millimeters. Zero. Two point six millimeters. And the top plate is one point three. So I believe we're short um, short six millimeters. I mean oh sorry, no, it should be one point five. Um which is 1.4 so that's pretty close pretty close uh, I believe this should be 3 millimeters but I'll have to check again and what else do we have here we have the battery strap it's a real tiny one <laughs> Really nice and cute. Really cute. Pattern strap. And this is the Velcro, double sided Velcro. And you get three standoffs. I believe these are 20 millimeters. Let's open this up. Get these out of the way. These are the vectors. Velcro. You can use this to stick on the bottom of the frame and uh, this works really well. I tend to use Velcro on all of my micros instead of the battery strap. Uh, just works so good and uh, you don't have the battery strap getting in the way of your build. Um, but, uh, this I think I believe should be about 20 or 25. Yeah, it's about 25. 23 millimeters. That's weird. I don't see many 23 millimeters. Never seen, <laughs> actually, yeah, I've never seen 
standoff style 23 millimeters so this is a quite different quite rare actually I might change them out for some um, knurled hardware which is uh, 20 millimeters these are 20 and it's just lets you have a lower stack a lower profile uh, which will improve your flight characteristics um, to have a, less drag and be able to maneuver much more quicker than normal so, um, yeah. and this is knurled as well and it just looks much better with these um, so, but yeah, uh, we have two, two, two standoffs, um, go at the, the, the back there, and one at the front here, huh, that's a bit weird, isn't it? Oh yeah, and two on the sides here, yeah? one at the back. That's just three, so it'll be like that. That's actually quite good. Really small in the hand. Alright, let's see if we can uh, measure. If we go out there. No, I can't. How much is it? That that's about fifty fifty four, fifty five millimeters. I mean fifty four point five. Fifty four point five. Same fifty four point five. It's a true X. It's a true X frame. Um very balanced for both freestyle and racing yeah, which is perfect it's very versatile um, so we shall measure from motor to motor It's kind of unorthodox, I know. <laughs> yeah, it's about, it's about it's about seventy five actually. Yeah, seventy. Luckily, seventy five. Unless I can find my ruler. Ruler, ruler. Yes, my ruler. <laughs> Oh no, it's a bit messy. Let's move this out of the way. Um, put the scissors in there. Chuck that there. Chuck that there. Eighty millimeters, motor to motor, eighty millimeters, and it's about fifty-five millimeters and fifty-five millimeters. So it's fine. And uh, now it's. Now this is, this style of uh, frame is actually based off of, uh, of the Tomaquad, the 
Tom Quads. Um, sorry, it's one of these <laughs> Tom Quads CS110s.